All right. Hello. Hey, everybody. Heat challenge number five. For me. For you is four. This is five for me. Six for you. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. I haven't oh yeah, I haven't edited the last one yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we just argue about what episode it is every every episode beginning. <laughs> I just don't want there to be any suicide due to uh you know misunderstandings. Exactly. So uh Charlotte had a tough week this weekend. Um someone really close to his heart passed away. Yeah. So he's gonna make sad EDM this weekend. So we had a a cat pass away in my household. And yeah, kinda sucks. But we're still here to make you this video. So uh, the cat didn't have COVID. He died like a hero. Uh gladiator style. Yeah. I'll leave the I'll leave the details out. <laughs> Just kinda of... I'll start crying again. A little bit. It's a little bit hardcore. But yeah. Is what it is. There was no abuse to lift the animal. It was of natural causes. You can say it's natural causes in a way, right? Nature, yeah. like I mean, yeah, nature, nature causes. Definitely had a had a factor to it. <laughs> yeah, it was natural, yeah. right? Like there was no human involved. Yeah, it was nature. Yeah, just it was unfortunate. Don't you just guys love that we never tell you exactly what's happening? We just give you a hint and then drive you crazy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah i just you know it's it's just it's uh yeah it's okay <laughs> it's a little bit i don't want people to cry because it's kind of like pretty intense but anyways but fun fact uh charlotte didn't cry when mufasa got betrayed near where bambi died only where real pets die he cries yeah i cried to marley and me I think I, I don't know if I cried, but I like almost cried. I, I am like, a legend. On the verge. Nothing. I am a I'm legend. I probably almost cried. Dog means nothing to me, man. Dog means nothing. It's Will Smith's only friend, man. Dog died. Exactly. Stupid, uh, stupid, uh, what's it called? Those zombies, zombie dogs. Dude, like, I've had all my dogs have had like terrible endings. So the first dog for me, um, it got cut in half by two Dobermans, which was insane. I had like a small, let's call it mutt dog. He was like everything in this one dog. And then my neighbor, um, he had two Dobermans that were like run by a German chemist. It's low key. I think he might have been a Nazi. Like I'm not even exaggerating um, because he was super racist towards like non-white people. So like he was racist to me. Anyways, um, America too right? Huh? It's like South America too. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure he was like Nazi. Pretty sure, like almost guaranteed. It. Um, but yeah, like my dog went outside, and then my maid forgot to close the door, and then he like stayed outside, and then like the neighbor opened his door, and then his dogs just came out and attacked my dog, and I ripped it apart. Jesus. And I was just like so sad for like a month. And then my aunt got me another dog. It was a husky. His name was Shadow. Oh, yeah, my first dog, his name was Odie. Because, you know, I like Garfield. Garfield? Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I really like lasagna. Um, and then, um, yeah, so, like, I had this dog for, like, three months. And then it had, like, cancer or some shit. So, it, like, died within a month. Jeez. So, like, I had to, like, bury another dog. And I slowly started building, like, thicker skin. Uh, my third dog, his name was Rocky. He was like half boxer, half pit bull. And he was just jacked, but he was very violent and very rapey. Okay. <laughs> and uh, he got stolen. Oh, shit. And then my fourth dog, because I was moving to Canada, uh, I gave it to my grandpa. And my grandpa just like let it leave. Oh. The dog left. And he was just like, never came back. And like when I went to like look for him, I actually found him. It's actually a crazy story. I was like, where's my dog? He's just like, oh, he just like left one day. And I was like, okay. So like I went, I, I my, de- my, 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 <laughs> my grandpa lived in the middle of nowhere, like in hella rural Peru. So like I went to this town over. So I walked like 10 kilometers 
And then I'm just walking through the city. I'm just saying like, oh, maybe I'll see my dog. And like, literally, dude, I see my fucking dog. What'd you do? Did you go grab I'd it? Because his name was Rickson, right? Yeah. And I was just like, yo, Rickson, come here. And he was just like, he came and he like went back to the house with me. And then he chilled for 10 days, the time that I was there. And apparently as soon as I left, he fucked off again. He literally just came to hang out with me and then he left. And I was just like, fuck you, dog. I don't know what happened to him. He's like MIA now. Or I guess he might be dead. Mm. It's mad you left, probably. I, well, it's not It's not like we like... I had the dog for like a year. And then I was like, well, I'm leaving. So I got to leave my dog. So I just gave it to my grandpa. And I thought he was going to take care of it. But then he was just like, this dog doesn't do shit. So he just kind of like left it. And then the dog just got a P.O. And like it's left. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Well, since we already went into it, I'll say what happened. Don't no, say what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave my roommate went to like take the garbage out, and like within, I like basically he is out taking the garbage out, and then like the cat ran outside, and then there was just a group of like four raccoons, and they just like beat the shit out of my cat. Well, my roommate's cat but it's kind of like my cat so like we just like we all just heard it or my my roommates heard it and then they like basically went and grabbed the cat brought it inside and she was just like beat up and they basically like, took her to the vet gave her like a rabies shot because the raccoons and for like two days basically she was just kind of like um the vet was like, oh, she's she's going to be fine, basically. She just didn't eat for, like, one or two days. And then um, I don't know, she's kind of just, like, lying there, just in random places, just not moving, not eating. And then we just, like, took her to the vet a second time. And then, like, they were like, leave her overnight. She's probably going to be fine. And then, yeah, she just didn't make it. So, yeah, it's kind of kind of brutal can you sue though for like a lying vet that tell you everything's gonna be fine and it dies um can you see them for a i don't know we we're trying to we were talking about that because like it took like two vets and like the one they're basically like she just has a few scratches and like they did an x-ray and they were like oh nothing's wrong but then they shaved her and then like she just had bite marks all over the place so i don't know if that's they could have seen those bright marks. Maybe they could have shaved her, but yeah, I don't know. You should definitely sue for one billion COVID dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can get any of it though. Like all your roommate would take it, but you know, you can try. Yeah. Yeah. And then like I was on Facebook. My, my aunt has a turkey and her turkey died. A pet turkey? Yeah, she had a pet turkey, and the that, turkey died. That made me sad, too. Was it, like, a special turkey? Was it one of those, like, I don't know what the word in Spanish, in English is, but it's, like, you know those turkeys that are, like, blue with the fancy tails? Uh, it seemed like a normal turkey. But, I don't know, they had it for a few years, I think, so. No, in Peru, we have, uh, in Spanish, we have a word called, which is called uh, Pablo Real, which is, like, royal turkey and it's basically like this turkey with like a really nice tail and it's like blue and green alcoholic drink sounds like an alcoholic drink let's see I... yeah or oh, indian peafowl Spanish again? The name. The name is indian peafowl oh check it out like share it so people can see it Where'd you send it to? No, I didn't send it. Just type in Indian peafowl. Google. Oh. P, like P E P E A. P E A fowl. F O W L. That's a fucking. That's a peacock. It's called an Indian peafowl. That's we call literally, that it's literally a peacock, though. Okay. Yeah. I'm a peacock. <laughs> I guess you guys have different names, but that's how I know it. Yeah, it's a peacock. In Canada, we call it peacocks. 
have so many of those in Peru, like everywhere. Yeah, I see them in Mexico too. If you go to yeah. if you go to Victoria, some of the parks have them too. Are they edible? I don't know. I wonder if they taste. Probably get a they could probably get a pass because of their beauty or something. It's like, you're not allowed to eat, to eat beautiful things. Yeah, and then like the the males are just really pretty, and the, basically in the bird world, if you're pretty, you're a male, and then if you're uh, dull colors, and you're female. Yeah, how hilarious is that? <laughs> like same with ducks. If you see like a colorful duck, it's a male. Hmm. Uh, Anyways, uh, let's explain what we're doing, Charlotte. Yeah. Oh yeah, happy boyfriend, boyfriend, and this is your dad is lit. Yeah. But you guys obviously already knew that, right? <laughs> of course, to our audience of like two people. Yeah. You know who you are. We love you. Yes. Um, so, yeah, we're doing a 30 minute B challenge. We've done five, if you're me, six. Oh, well, we've, we've both done the same amount. It's just. Uh, what happened on the first one that I did, I didn't record it. Or like the last one on mine, in which like I only recorded half the sound because I was on the wrong sound card. Yeah, we're not veterans here. We're still a little starting out, but basically we're just making a beat from scratch in 30 minutes. We're idiots. And uh, <laughs> seeing what we come up with. And then at the end, we just kind of shoot the shit a little bit. Yeah, like I, I give him the sample he has to make a song from and vice versa. Yes, yeah. So we have to give each other the samples. Mm-hmm. And we see what we come up with and make fun of each other. Yeah, I mean, there might be taunting during the mixing and the making of, but, you know, that's the fun part. Um, yeah, so like last week I wrote something that I think I can actually finish. So like after this, I'm going to work on it and hopefully I should have like a track ready for uh for critiquing from uh my so wolf pack two videos this week huh you guys just get two videos this week instead of one i'm only posting one if you want to post two go ahead Let's post two I, I i i one of my songs came out right now, uh this week uh it's called uh, i want to hear your voice on lifted records it dropped on the 19th i think it's pretty dope it's supposed to get you to like stand out for you believe in if you have, if you're dealing with a bully, say something. If you don't like something, say something. Go vote, because you should vote. Not everybody in the world gets to vote, regardless of who you think the right president is. Go vote. So, yeah. That was a one second snippet. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's uh, you it's, have to be. listen to it, but I'll put the links in the comments. Yeah. You'll 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 see the links. Your song comes out too, though, man. Like soon, right? A couple weeks. November fourth. Yeah, so that's and okay. I also have a remix for the song that you just put out. Yeah, but that's in three weeks. Yeah. First, the one of mine, but I just signed another record too. It's gonna come out. I'm not sure <laughs> if it comes out in. March 3rd, so March 2nd or February 3rd because it's from a label that's not in North America. So it just says like 03, 02 to 2021. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know where that comes out. So I need to reach out. <laughs> Variable boyfriend's going international. Well, well, oh yeah. Yeah, technically I first started signing Canada. Where, I'm, where are we at? Yeah. Yeah. It's in Mexico, right? The label? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, their Instagram is uh, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna talk about the release yet until it's for sure because like I need to see like what their marketing plan is. But the one that's like basically like I'm just waiting because it's a collaboration. It's just me and my buddy from uh, Florida. And as soon as he gives me the green light there, then I'll be like, okay, cool. Let's talk about more. But we'll see. Sick. Yeah forward to that yeah i mean i don't know i ideally want to drop another song in december 
but we'll see. Yeah. I'm trying to give you lots of stuff for your ear enjoyment. All right, cool. So uh, we have around 10 minutes of us finding samples. And then we'll give each other samples and you to each other. Ready, set, go. And we're back. Uh, so we just finished uh, watching Charlotte. Attempt to make a beat, not fail. Today was a good day. And uh, he switched sides because he thinks that um, looking forward, he makes him look like an Eskimo and we're trying to be not racist today. So <laughs> you yes. can you talk or you, does your mic not work anymore? Oh, you're using your head mic? Oh, okay, I see, I see. You hear? Yeah, it's just kind of far away. Oh, so I just have to speak louder? Yeah, cool. Okay. So I'll just share my screen. All right, so this is what Charlotte sent me. Important question. I should probably check my sound card. Zoom, okay, we're good. All right, let's see. Okay, so it's very depression sounding. Let's make music you want to be a vici are there all these bummers was that I gotta start a timer. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, it's cheating. Let's see. I'm gonna make a rap beat. Not rap enough. Needs to be more lit. If what's his name? <laughs> Lil Nas gets your beat, then you know who to send your royalties to. Chill house. Oh, that's why I was like, why is it count cut?
that's kind of cool actually like look at that yeah that's cool let me just figure out the beginning of uh, two. Okay, so I got it. I got the melody. I got the power. I got the power, man. I got the power. Yeah, I got the belly melody down. Hell yeah. Now let's make it trappy. What's the key on this guy? Okay, I guess you're not talking to me, whatever. the song is uh no Fuck, I'm gonna cheat. Do 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 at tracks. Uh, to stop. Go. Cool. What the fuck? Okay, let's see what sample it is. Come on, man. Tell me to kill the song, man. Uh, F minor. Okay. Oh, what is that? Just a drag and drop key finder? Yeah, dude. That's hilarious. You think I have talent? I actually have to like go now go to hook theory to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, guys. I just wasted eight minutes doing nothing. 
I am eating some cheesecake. You eat cheesecake? Oh yeah, because it's gluten free, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one from that store is fire. What? One from that store, cheesecake, etc. That's what you want, right? Yeah. That's that minor. That's yeah. F G. It was my girlfriend's birthday yesterday, so she wanted cheesecake, so we went there. We had a piece of cheesecake in the store that we bought a cheesecake to bring home. Like the perfect steaks. We're fat. Sounds like a good date, bro. Did you ask her to marry you afterwards? Like, please, girlfriend. No. Make me the next Korean superstar. Introduce me to JYP, please. Okay, so I have the key down. Cool. I still don't think it's gonna help me in any way, but whatever. I just know what to what what notes to make my baseline in. Okay, so yeah. Lower probably. Hey man, it's my beat. Stop it. if I don't fucking actually start writing shit properly. Mm, let's figure it out. Let's grab a beat. The fucking that melody that I worked around. Beautiful horses in the back. I'm just gonna make it like it's too happy right now, so I need to make it more depressed sounding. with it that way it's interesting Thank you. 
some sort uh i just need to grab like a better snare oh no macintosh that's interesting yeah, this one's low quality. Okay, now I need a kick. Mm -hmm. I got 15 minutes and I still got nothing. That is amazing. Let's see. here so i just have to get rid of the kicks what am i doing ti true 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 i should probably stop fucking around eh
Okay. Now, actually, make this like a fucking beat. Let's see. Uh, let's turn that off. So let's arrange it. Fuck your face. Okay, so then kill the kick and then keep, keep, take this guy out and then slowly fucking automate these guys. Do, 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 do. Next one's this one. Hey, right. see how that sounds. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe like fucking cut the high so it's like building up a bit. Let's see. I got fucking seven minutes and I wrote shit all. I kind of like the beat though.
Should I just? Yeah, I'm just gonna cheat. <laughs> Cause I have no talent. You get it. Do? <laughs> Found the root. <laughs> I'll add your eight oh eight. You know what to do? Add an eight. And literally just like do like one, one, and then like this one, you just make it a little bit fast. So well, okay. Everything is like not sounding fat enough. So I'm just gonna have to make everything super fucking ignorant. The bass that I tune. Did I grab the wrong note? It's F. Did the right note according to that internet. <laughs> It's out of tune. I think I can actually almost tell when shit's out of tune, Charlotte. I think I'm almost getting there, man. You know you can, where that? you can tell? I can kind of tell when shit's out of key now. <laughs> there you go. Sharp, right? Yeah, that's weird. Why are you lie, bro? Huh? No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking oh. about <laughs> sampler. Like it said, it was in key, and I'm just like, mm, it's not right. So that means all my notes are wrong. No one, nothing was working. Okay. the kick pattern because again no talent put the cool hats I like the beat actually. Should I hit up Little Blue? See if he wants to fucking work on this. Yeah, do it. It's in the layer right now. Like, Yo, bro, I got a beat kind of. <laughs> it's like I'm farming fucking rice. Yeah. <laughs> rice. Get that rice boy shit in ya. Farming rice. I'm a cowboy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, 
So let's go back to hook theory. Do I have time to do anything? Probably not. <laughs> Try for free. Got the horse that's in the back. <laughs> F sharp. So that's D, G flat, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that makes sense. So G sharp. Ah, okay, so everything's like off. But how much? Well, them both hit. Nothing is in key. Do I have enough time to make some strings? I do not. Come on, man. Give me my urn, man. Mm. I like King's End. I don't have time to make strings, bro. Yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> Just gonna wait. <laughs> B sharp. No, actually, A. And then B. And I guess this one. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can even made sense. <laughs> D maybe? Shit, right? We can't do that. There we go. And then it's the next one up. Six. So that's D. Cool. So that's that's my beat, kind of. Uh, I'll play from the beginning.
Yeah, man. So that's that's the beat. What do you think? Play it. Then it's a little Nas X. It just seems like more. It just sound depressed enough. You know what I mean? It's in the back. <laughs> Yo, what the hell does this mean that you just sent me? <laughs> Fuck the Bible. Started with the satanic pussies at. Oh, fuck Bible study with a satanic pussy at. I get it. Damn. That's uh And it's a small boy. Yeah. In a, like, in a church outfit. Did you see the alpaca one? Alan the alpaca? Yeah, one. What, is this, what does alpaca say? If we lived in Calgary, we could rent an alpaca. You can we can rent alpaca in the Calgary? Yeah. What? Oh, that's Alan. Yeah, I've seen that. He's all over my feet. Yeah, Alan's all over. Have you guys seen like the Alan alpaca? Like, it's probably like the best alpaca right now. The most Canadian one. Yeah, if you live in Calgary, you can hire him for your party. Can you imagine just like how much of alpacas are you fucking like <laughs> party? Like, is this safe? They're, they're pretty fast though. They kind of <laughs> just hired him. It's like I hired this alpaca to watch cartoons with my daughter. How much that's, is it that's hilarious. It's like not even a party. It's just they rented alpaca. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I feel like these beat sessions now, it's just kind of like literally, I was just like making whatever the fuck comes out. But we're not really trying to like, you know, finish a beat. We're just trying to like actually do art. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. To connect well, out. it's like, it's super hard to just make a beat, like a full beat in 30 minutes. Yeah. But especially when we're giving each other just fucked up samples i know i like the sample gaming yeah well like i don't know they're like they're generally not as easy to work with they're kind of you have to kind of think a bit harder to see think about what you're doing like Mm -hmm. the first just like trying to find them first idea is kind of usually like 10 minutes itself Mm mm-hmm and then like stretching that out, it's pretty, pretty long. But who knows? If we keep doing this for like a year, maybe we will be like, <laughs> like that. Just fucking. No, well, like here's the thing. Like I noticed starting what is it like maybe in Beat Challenge three, I was like maybe I shouldn't be so like eager to like finish the song. I should just try to like come out with something that's decent so I can keep working on it. Oh, okay. right. It was like, mm, should I do that? Because like, I don't know. Like I'm just trying to simplify stuff. I mean, I can try to like finish up like, a full song. I'll still, I'm, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna fail every time, unless we just be like, you have to have a full structure, otherwise there's consequences. We'll hire Alan for your house. Rent him. All right, we're here for the party. What? No, we're not. Like we never ordered an alpaca. Well, you have it for like two hours, so. Hmm. Yeah, it's, just gonna leave it here. <laughs> Three hundred dollars an hour. House. Best investment ever. Does it say how much he is? I don't know. <laughs> I, I I assume it's expensive, right? Because it's such a niche market. Yeah. It's like a bachelorette party here. I think they bring like cupcakes and shit too. Damn. It's like alpaca cakes. Dude, that's lit. Out of ten, yeah. Now I want some muffins. Yeah. What time is it? It's eight p.m. Mm. This is their ad. It's just like, I only have paca. Yeah, but like they got cute eyes though. Yeah. Like you think a dog's eyes are cute? And like, nah. You know, Erica sends me fucking alpaca memes like all day, right? She sends me at least three a day. Yes. It's like she'll wake up, and then she has like all these like alpaca Instagram accounts that she follows. And she'll just send me a couple. I'm just like, ha, that's funny. Are they nice? Apocas are dicks, dude. Oh, really? Yeah, by the way, your phone being in front of your face is taking away your zoom, like your, your focus. Oh, no, you're not your perma blurry. Dude, you're PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quality, dude. man. You're PewDiePie right now. Like, there's no focus on your face. Why? I don't know. Yo, uh, Charlotte has an HD camera, 
And uh, he talks about how like his camera is better than my fucking like weapon camera all the time. But look at him right now, fucking pulling a PewDiePie. He's like blurry as shit. There you go. You, you, you spot that? That's Sarah V. Uh, Charlotte's skin routine. It's right there. You can see it in the shot. What's that one? Oh, eczema. I don't know. I used uh, Sarah V like night. I didn't know how much you put in the first time, and I put like a, a, a handful, and like I couldn't sleep because like it was like so smelly. And then I asked like a girl, and they were like, "Bro, you're supposed to put like a dab." Mm, you can use a lot. Yeah. I use quite a bit, but maybe. Wait. Okay. So do you do like your neck too? Because yeah, I know it just depends. Like. I just apply what's itchy. I know. I just do it because, like, I want. I want to like. Yeah. I moisturize my hands a lot now. Cause my my fingers get pretty dry. Oh, that sucks for your girlfriend. I have a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have like dishwasher fingers because parents own a restaurants. So. Yeah, but when's the last time you wash a dish, bro? Like at restaurant. I wash dishes every day. No, nah, like you know what I'm talking about. Just like full stop, eight hour shift. Just like ah. When I was probably like when I was 16, 17. Yeah, that's a lot. Or no, probably nineteen. You did dishwasher when you moved to Vancouver. Well, I moved back to Terrace once in between living in Vancouver. Oh, you should tell. And me. then I uh, worked in my parents' place for like a year. Charlotte tried one time to move to the big city and he failed because he didn't have money. Yeah. Well, I worked at a club. It was only on weekends. Then I had a different job, but I stopped working there. And yeah, I just didn't get another job. And then I was just working weekends. I was like, I should move home and like decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> Cool, man. Or I go broke. It's it's cool, man. I've been broke so many times, but now I just learned never to be broke again. Yeah. Diego used to steal apples. Uh, maybe. Just don't tell me which establishment. He was like uh, Aladdin. No. <laughs> <laughs> like an Aladdin where he's stealing apples? That was Diego. Yes, I was that hungry. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I'm going to fuck. Yeah. No, it's fine. Talk about the establishment. Everyone's always, everyone's stolen before. If you have, if you, if you say you haven't, you, if you're rich, you're lying. Dude, rich people steal all the time. They're just, when they're successful, no one suspects them and they steal your stuff. Or they do it with contracts because they're smart. Oh, I think like it's okay to steal as long as you don't, I steal my identity. Yeah. Double crime. You're stealing from me and then you're trying to be me. You're not me, bro. Yeah. If you That's steal your Twitter call. account and then they're just like. You turn off your mic because you uh, got too excited. Uh, problem in which like he like twitches in the middle of uh, the night. Unplugged my headphones. <laughs> but yeah, Diego's scared of like someone stealing his Twitter. <laughs> And just dropping in words and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you say on my Twitter? No, I I on my Twitter. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> I'm Diego, and I like pooping in my mouth. <laughs> the amount of times that like people have like taken my phone and just posted stupid statuses, it, I can't even count. Here, here's what happened to me one, one time in rugby. I didn't know I was not allowed to have my phone. It was the first time I was like allowed to legally drink there like at the clubhouse. So like there was like initiation for like noobs or whatever, I guess like rookies, right? Rookies. And I didn't know I was not all supposed to have my phone for that. So like some girl was texting me and I was, I was <laughs> then they took my phone and they started sending her a bunch of retarded shit. They're just like, did they ruin your chances? No, actually, uh, <laughs> because of that, I met up with her. I was like, you're so weird. It was just like, yeah, sorry. I was just in a <laughs> <laughs> actually made it better. 
they were sending such stupid shit. Like they were just constantly nonstop sending her like weird fucking jokes. Like this guy sent her like 10 screenshots of like cyanide and happiness. And she was like rolling. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> jokes on you. She thinks it's funny. Yeah. Okay. They hung on afterwards. It's cool. Yeah. Like I remember, and I made the mistake. I was like, just don't text this girl. So what did they do? They obviously texted her. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. He's just a kid. You're like, no, fuck him. He knows the rules. I'm like, actually, I don't. That's why this is happening right now. <laughs> Typical kid text, like, I want to marry you, girl. I have She's like, oh, my God, yeah. I have never said that in my life. That's what they would send. Mm. Actually, I've done some stupid shit before, though. Like, remember every single time a girl, like, a date, I was like, yeah, so, like, what are we going to do? We're going to get married just to see, like, what they would fucking do. And I would, like, keep a straight face. And I'd be like, yeah, like, you know, blah, blah, And every single time, they freaked out. <laughs> this is when I was in high school. And then I learned not to do that. But, like, every single time, like, I, I was kidding, but I never, like, told them I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, like, otherwise, like, why am I dating you, right? You want something serious, right? And then they'd be like, uh, uh, I, I take stain, I, 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 I want to get married and have kids. What else? <laughs> yeah. It was always so funny watching their face just, like, look. Like, yeah, it was always like this. They would just, like, look down, and then their eyes would get really big, and they'd be like, ah, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 16. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, yeah. <laughs> Man, you ever being like egged? Have I been egged? I have, have anybody ever thrown an egg at you? No. So it's happened to me many times, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So like, my buddy and I, um, before we had our like driver's license, we used to walk everywhere. So sometimes we would like walk to our like our buddy's house, which is like five kilometers away. Because we didn't want to pay for bus for her because she's like, we can just walk, bro. So it would just take us like half an hour. <laughs> Jeez. <Right. laughs> and then one time we were walking and then like this band pulls up and just starts slamming us with eggs. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and like I was on the one that was closer to the fucking like road. So I was the one that was getting most of it. And my buddy was just like looking at me he's like, dude, you're getting eggs. I'm just like, yeah, what am I going to do? Like I can't chase them. They're a cover car. <laughs> Just like, don't let them show you that you've gotten under your skin, Diego. That's <laughs> Just like three times. Three times. And I, I should have left that road, but I was it was like the fastest way to get home. So like they like finished the street, they turn around and they egg me again. And they <laughs> I was just like, should I call the police or something? I was like, what happens here? I'm just like, so like were they rotten eggs or were they just like they're just legs. Okay. It's like just like and you can tell like they're stupid, like, you know, 15, 16 year old kids that just got their license. They just want to go egging people. Yeah, it's like the scene in Forrest Gump. We're just like chasing him in the car. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Like now I'm pretty sure they just want to beat the shit out of out of him. Like I remember when I was in high school, like I went like walking with my friends once and I ha there's always those kids that just want to like destroy shit for no reason oh yeah yeah so like we, <laughs> the kid sees like a like a dishwasher in an alley and like he's like dude we can like throw in this in somebody's yard and we're like what <laughs> it's like yeah like this would be such a good idea and then like he looks up and like right beside the the appliance like over the fence there was a fucking pool He's like, yeah, yeah, let's just like throw it in the pool. And I'm just like, dude, that's so dumb. So like before I turn around, like all my friends had like run to like grab. <sighs> what was it? I think it was like uh it was an oven. Yeah, it was an oven. And like they threw it into the pool. And then as soon as like, like the pool like hit it, like the the light sensor went out. And like you could see like the pool <laughs> fucking laughing down in the pool. <laughs> then the guy's like, hey, what the fuck? And I'm just like, ah oh, shit. So like everybody started running. Oh yeah. Right. And then like I, I was I, I had my backpack on and like I had my glasses on when this was happening. So like the guy was like chasing some guy and like 
chased me for a while, even though I was like, I had nothing to do with it. I like managed to hide within a bush. I changed my hoodie to like a different color and I put, I took off my glasses and I started walking. I also had different shoes. And then he was like, hey, you, have you seen any kids running around here? I'm just like, uh, no, I'm just coming home from uh, my friend's house. Yeah. I to, like, in my town, there's a giant river. So you, you, and there's like rocks at the bottom and people would just throw shit off of it. <laughs> So it'd be like 3 a.m. at night, and then you'd like somebody would maybe like be throwing out like a like a toilet. Oh, that would make like a really so yeah, like and like you'd just like park it somewhere. So you literally you have to like walk 10 minutes onto the bridge, and it's like just to get to the middle of the bridge, like you have to walk quite a bit. And there's like lights, and it goes like red, green, black. So like you kind of have some time. It's like 3 a.m. It's like where I'm from, there's like nobody at, out at night. And you just like fucking haul it to the middle of the bridge where the rocks are. And then like we just threw it off. And like <laughs> it would be so fucking loud. Like a fucking, like you throw it off and it's just like an explosion. And you just like, you'd just fucking sc- scatter away. <laughs> just run for your life. Yeah. It's like, I was hearing a lot of the stories because, like, you know, they're banning fireworks in uh, Vancouver, right? Yeah, because animals or whatever. Ah, I don't know. The mayor was just like, yo, like, there's too much, like, uh, there's too many, like, Roman candle fires. Um, There's too much property damage. Uh, There's too much stupid shit happening. And apparently, like, I didn't know this was not a Canadian tradition. This is a Vancouver tradition. To have like fireworks. Where I'm from, they where I'm from, we have fireworks in Halloween. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's a British. We have New Year's, Halloween, Canada Day. Hmm. We have a lot of fireworks. Well, okay. So uh, apparently, like that doesn't happen in the East Coast. So they're just like, yeah, like we need to get rid of fireworks. They're like, not good. The country's having problems, and everybody like like calls the radio, and they're just like. Man, I used to be so fucking stupid when I was a kid. I would get like Roman candles and have like Harry Potter fights. You know, go like chase each other. Around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or like just like wait until their last second to throw like a, a ball rocket. Right. I, I remember well, it's like. It's kind of dumb. You have like one day where just anyone can buy fireworks and just light them off. Well, here's the thing. It's not banned in Burnaby. So anybody from Vancouver, they're literally just going to go to the next district over and just buy a bunch of fireworks. Yeah. And then, like, I forget who I was saying, but, like, it was it's impossible to enforce. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, uh, my, my friend brought his, like, Australian friends to, like, visit him because he's Australian. And apparently in Australia, like, fireworks are banned. Oh, and- yeah. As soon as we gave them fireworks, we we're just like, oh, so this is why they're banned in Australia. Because, like, they literally started shooting at each other. Like, that's the first thing they did. Like, not even, like, yeah, so, like, light it and see what happens. It's just like, oh, dude. <laughs> just, like, throw it at each other. It's like, I think this is why they're banned in Australia. You guys would have too much fun too quickly. Oh, I seen that video. You didn't show your audio, though. Oh yeah. Oops. Oops. Here's like an actual customer out here. Uh, what's uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Where are your parents? <laughs> Kids sketchy. Back to you guys. <laughs> Kids sketchy. What would you like to know, weather boy? Dude, what's that? What's what's the name of the bad kid on uh, Toy Story? Oh yeah, uh, I can't remember his name, but well, you know, just fucking the burns anti- people's faces off. The anti Andy looks like that kid. Yeah. So yeah, he's probably gonna go stick them in his mom's bed or something. Pew, pew, pew. Damn. Sounds like uh, you've done that before. Is that why you're about to move to Vancouver? Yeah. <laughs> He's sketchy, man. Yeah. They said it themselves. 
So what do you think, man? Do you think we're going to survive COVID? Uh, I think so. I think at this rate, all the musicians that are going to make it are the ones that are just making like the chillest music ever. They're just going to be like, yeah, bro, couch vibes. Yeah, I don't know. No one knows, man. You, uh, you just have to have immunity like Trump. I don't think he has immunity. He's, he said it himself. He has immunity. That's not how it works. The doctors say I'm great. Say I'm immune. I'm immune. But the best doctors, the best hospitals. Yeah. He is yeah. a friend. And it's all going to be free. The vaccine. It's all going to be free for you guys. You sound like you're promoting your campaign. Yeah. For uh, prime minister. Yo, if you were prime minister of Canada, what would the first thing you would do? I would, um, I would, uh, call Fidel Castro Isn't he and, uh, find out if there's some, some lost children. And if there is a lost children. And if the, uh, that one of those child was the prime minister of Canada. And then what? Put him on blast? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking communist. <laughs> Saying. <gasps> so oh, I'll show you, I'll show you this photo. I'll show you this photo. Yeah. Yo, did you did you see Bora too yet? No, not yet. I'll be just introduced in it. Oh really? Yeah. What does he do? Just watch it. Okay, guys. All I'm saying here is what what is this? <laughs> That's without catch right Coincidence? <laughs> I don't know. Same they literally have the same facial shape. Dude, they're the same person. They're, yeah, literally. Like, look at Pierre Trudeau. Look at this. I don't think that's what you're right, Pierre. They don't even look alike. Yeah, what about uh, Justin Trudeau's moms, though? Is her name Margaret Trudeau? I don't know. Bro. Yeah, like, come on. That's what she does. Come on. Yeah, her mom totally cheated on the private circuita. Yeah, that's it, person. Come on. Yeah. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? We'll be like, let's go send him to jail for like lying to Canadians. No, it's just out there. It's just out there now. Damn. Um, yeah, I don't know if I was prime minister. I don't. I'm, am I allowed to be prime minister? I wasn't born here. Uh, yeah, you can. Really? Should I run? Yeah, do it. I don't speak French. Though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like in the United States, if you're not born in the United States, you can. You can't. But if you're, I don't think you have to be born in Canada. Okay. Cool. So the uh, first thing I'll do is just I would make my own uh, WeChat. We would call it Beaver Chat. Beaver Chat? Oh, yeah. Everybody that was in Canada has to use Beaver Chat. And uh, the next thing is... And you uh, got to make the cutest beaver avatar Yeah, that uh, you I, can make. I would make everybody have to use more um, characters in all those businesses. That way, it becomes a little bit more family-friendly. Because we're friendly, but they could be more family-friendly with more cartoons. Yeah. I would put a bunch of money into animation. That way there's more anime that's Canadian. I would uh, ban immigration of bears. Look like this. That's an Eevee? What is that? 
Uh, it's like beaver. I don't know. But I, I would ban bear immigration. Like only Canadian bears allowed in this country. Uh, Did they immigrate? Yeah, dude. They don't immigrate. Yeah, they do. You close the borders on bears? Yep. Bears. Yeah. Need- you don't want American bears? No, no Alaskan bears here. I would make it at everybody that was associated with Greenpeace that they have to sign a clause that if they destroy property, they go to jail. They can destroy any sort of property, they go to jail. Bears in jail? No, no. And if you're associated with Greenpeace and you start protesting, you can protest all you want. Just don't break shit. Okay. So if you're associated with Greenpeace. And oh, yeah. And if you want to protest in Canada, you have to be Canadian. No American protesters in Canada. I would make it illegal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. It happens a lot in like the 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 the, the reserves, man. Like the native, the, um, the Aboriginal people, like one shit happen, and then like you see the the people protesting, and they're just like, "Bro, are you even like native or Canadian?" They're like, "No, nah, man, I'm American." Greenpeace. I'm just like, "Fuck you, get out of here." You don't even care about these people. It's different yeah. if like, they were actually like from the region and they'd be like, yeah, man, like fucking protest all you want. You're not happy? Makes sense. If you're not American, wait here. Stop getting in the way of shit. Yeah. Would you make it illegal to watch American politics? Uh, I would also make it illegal to make shitty gluten-free bread. Oh. Like, oh. You go to jail. You're gluten- have to immigrate. Gluten-free bread is so bad. I'll have to be... I'll have to become american yeah also the other thing i would make it so that um if you're gonna be a drug addict you're not gonna go to jail but you have to do your drugs through your neck so you really know what's up like for example like you want to try some drugs like yeah, bro like everybody oh yeah i know everybody in like high school has to do all the drugs so they know what it feels like so they were just like oh, i would really don't want to be involved with it yeah to do a bender of yeah like first week of school everybody does coke the next week weed then it's meth then it's Adderall then you know you, you, to balance it off at the end you give them LSD that way they're like they're not addicted to anything just the DMT <laughs> does it do DMT just to like just talk with talk with God be like you shouldn't do the drugs, man. Yeah, everybody has to learn Chinese. Why? Because, like, we need to do business. Yeah, right? yeah man. Well, that's kind of smart. We might all be Chinese soon once they so. everybody learn Chinese. If you're from Quebec, you have to learn Chinese. You don't have to learn English, but you have to learn Chinese. Yeah. What else would we do? Oh, I would make it illegal to move out of uh, Saskatchewan. If you're a war from there, you have to stay there. <laughs> you can't leave your province. No. Nobody can leave their province. No, like to live. Like you have to stay there for at least 20 years. Mm-hmm. And if you want to move, you have to apply. I mean, that's kind of good. You know, people from BC can't go to Alberta. People from Alberta can't go to BC. To be yeah, I'm sick and cool. tired of seeing like Alberta license plates in British Columbia. Yeah, they kind of suck at driving. Yeah. Like I get it if we're over there in the winter and we suck, of course we're not ready, right? But Alberta license plates in the summer, holy crap. I hate you. Yeah. yeah. I would make it illegal for uh Quebec to uh request uh funding from the government. They have to make their own money. Yeah, so everyone make their own money. Yeah. And then we bring it into a pool and then we do our own space program. Everyone would be poor except Alberta. <laughs> They'd be like I told you, we're the backbone of this country. We realize how important Alberta is, we go back to normal. Yeah, we, the whole point of these like, nonsense laws is to just make a point. Yeah. And they'd be like, hey, they'd be like, hey, you see what's happening to your province? 
Is he high in parts anyway? Yeah, Ottawa is just bankrupt. <laughs> Ontario is just like <laughs> has nothing. Yeah, you know, like I think like PEI would be all right because of uh, all the potato production. Yeah. Right, they're just like, man, I don't know what the big deal is. Like, we're the same. I don't know how Nova Scotia would do because I don't know how lobster season works. And like, on top of that, just no foreign trading. Uh, <laughs> just like, <laughs> everyone has to fend for themselves. We're just fucked you then because we sell a lot of our oil to like the States, right? Like that, we don't need to sell our oil. Just, Bro, just we keep it for ourselves. Power to LA. Like, British Columbia sells power to LA. Fuck them. It's for it's for Canada now. So we're gonna become a nationalist country. Okay, so you yeah. went. I just wanted to make a point. <laughs> hey man, if we go this far, we might as well go the whole way. Everybody has to wear uh, red on Fridays. That would be by law. Yeah. And if you don't play hockey, you gotta leave. You have to have played at least one full game of hockey. If you have a disability, you have to be the ref. I don't care. Everybody plays hockey. Should play at least a season. Go full hockey season. What if you have a um, disability? Then you can play uh, do curling. No, you do the scoreboard. True. Yeah. But uh, got to add some time for curling. Uh, I would make it, uh, basically, I would make that mouse write, rewrite the national anthem. Oh, yeah. Chronic, and it's more lit. So everybody's like, dude, like, play Canada's anthem. And we get streams, more revenue for the country. Make our national anthem a Grammy nominated song that everybody just loses their shit. Think about that. Yeah, throwing Jay Beebs on the vocals. Dude, we think about it. Like, everywhere you go, you just blast, like, yeah, we're just making my country money, man. Just trying to pay for healthcare by playing music. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Michael no parties. Now Michael Bublé has to sing on it, or Celine Dion, one of the two. Those are the two choices. But Dead Mouse has to write it. Surprised there's no like big Canadian collab yet. It's like Drake featuring Justin Bieber, featuring Dead Mouse, featuring Celine Dion, featuring uh, Nickelback, featuring uh, what else is Canadian? Avril Levine. Yeah, Avril Levine. Mastercraft. Simple plan. Yeah. Yeah. Mastercraft's Canadian? I think I'm Canadian. Pretty sure they're, from they're French. Mm, then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're French Canadian. I thought they were French. Oh, they're Canadian? Yeah, I think I'm Quebec. Or oh, shit. Damn, that's like that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, Adventure Club has to make the drop. How come they never play shows? They do. They, they did. don't. They did. I missed the boat on that. I never saw them. By the time I could go, like they stopped touring. I saw Justice once, which is kind of similar, but like that was like one in a lifetime. I've never seen them play any other show, like in Vancouver or anything. Were they good? Yeah, was, they're really good. It was uh, a so religious experience. Focus on your camera is hilarious. It's just literally on your mouse now. You need to figure out how to like focus your camera properly. Perfect. Better? Yeah. I like how Elmo's passed out there. Doesn't that mess up with your tweeters? Hmm? I thought he was like lower. Yeah, and then I have uh Banyo. Uh Charmander. Charmander. And I have a uh... Evangelion. Evangelion. The best anime of I've all. Got a uh, Akira. Pretty good. Uh, Berserk, nudity though. Too late, bro. Then I have Studio Ghibli, but um, 
It's too dark. So it's 8.30. I think I'm going to go eat. Uh, this was a decent uh, session. Not bad. I like the beat. I'm going to hit up a rapper and see if he wants to like write on it. Nice. Yeah, I'll mix that down and uh, show you in higher quality in the video. Because uh, we have Zoom audio and we've learned our lesson. Well, yeah, it's in mono, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we should really use the fucking software. God, I keep forgetting. Yeah, we're going to figure out how to make this audio quality better. Yeah, because okay. if we still want to talk to you guys, like, I guess, like, we could have, like, a Discord and then save that, right? But, I don't know. I yeah. Because then I can't really hear your audio. It's kind of hard with, like, your fucking doll. Yeah. <laughs> We may be fluent in Ableton, but we're not fluent in live stream software. No, I'm a noob. If you noobs, go ahead, comment down below. Let us know. Send us a video. Anyone has the secrets, please share with us. Contact Steve Jobs. I'm on Logic. He made this product, so ask him. Yeah. Ableton. I don't know who. Yeah, Ableton. What's Ableton? Like German or something? Ableton. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this and uh, see you next week. Peace out.